Uh, Trey, I mean, we you know it's been a couple of t weeks maybe since we spoke to you last, but I mean, your you know, assist to turnover ratio has been you know, really improved this year, and coach is really kind of hampered about just how good you've been with you know being the primary ball handler. Just maybe talk about your growth in that respect, and maybe Jordan could maybe add on to just maybe what Trey's been able to do as the primary point guard for y'all this year. Uh, really, it's just come with having to trust in my teammates, my coaches. Uh, I mean, you know, the year ain't hasn't gone the way we wanted it to go, but you know, playing everybody playing that role, and you know, I guess me filling in the shoes of you know going into a point guard role. I mean, hasn't been much of a I don't know a tough battle, but you know, like I said, with the encouragement and you know the mindset my teammates have to just give me the ball and you know let put them in the positions so where they can score and be successful, you know, it says a lot, and I think that's why we've been trending in the right direction lately. So hopefully, you know, we stay consistent. Yeah, I think, you know, he slowed the game down a lot. You know, I think he, as a veteran, he's so smart, so savvy. Um, he uses, he's been using the size well just to get penetration and then making the extra reads. We have to get to our spots as wings and guards um, to get the bailout spots for him for easy kickouts. And I think we've been doing that. Um, but a lot of credit to him. He puts in the work. Um, he's in the gym working on his passing, working on his handle, working on his game. Um, so, so it's no surprise to us, but I think he's definitely slowed the game down and, and really embraced being that point guard and being and the leader of this team. Trey, can you take us back to last year? And you know, as bad as it was, I know you probably want to forget all about it. But <laughs> what was your thought process at the end of the year about coming back, maybe going somewhere again? And where has your game improved from last year? Where, what, what have you gotten better at the most? Uh. I feel like I just left that up to guy. I mean, last year, to be honest, because, you know, it was a tough year, you know, a year we didn't expect. But uh, hearing from the coaches and the guys we were bringing in, like Jordan and Will and Hunter and all those other guys, like, it was just, you know, heartwarming. But at the same time, you got to think rebuild. So like, it was kind of tough. But as the years went on, you know, like the leadership within myself, Jordan, and everybody else along, you know, like Will and the other vets, you know, I think now is the time, like, we've, like I said, we're clicking at the right time. You know, and not to speak on it so much, but you know, we gotta stay down and stay consistent. But as far as from last year, my concern is, you know, just winning. You know, doing the right things to win. You know, being tough every day and having a mindset and coming in and working hard every day, really. So, especially with Coach McMahon, man, because you know he's a crazy guy. <laughs> Did you seriously think about it? Oh no, not at all. Not at all. You know, uh, most importantly, I just wanted to win. You know, having the guys in here that was, you know, going to come in here and sell out for the team and do the things that we need to win, like, that was my only mindset and focus. So we got that, and we're going in the right direction. So, Yeah, Jordan, um, just how tangible is the experience factor with this team, with all the seniors y'all have, all the years y'all have? Um, just is there anything like you've been a part of before? Yeah, for sure. It's kind of reminiscent of my year last year, um, I think, with – the veterans we had on that team with Ezra as our point guard, Liam Robbins as our center. Um, a lot of similarities to this team. We have Trey here and Will, Will here, you know, steady, um, defensive-minded guards who can lead a team and don't really turn the ball over, uh, but facilitate. And then you have a, two, another seven-footer who can stretch the floor um, and do that for the team. So I think there's a lot of similarities to my team last year, um, but that same toughness is, is, has emerged, and I think you can get that from veteran guys who've been in big games, who've won big games. Um, and I think that's what you've been seeing from us over the past um, couple weeks or so. Uh, we've really embraced being the tougher team, having the mentality of never going to quit. Uh, we're going to come back from whatever, be resilient, be the, um, just compete. And I think the team has really embraced that. And you've see, seen that with the younger guys, Tyrell and Jay Reed, with the way they've been playing. Um, it's kind of fed into them, and they've, they've kind of figured out who they are and how they could be successful in this league. Um, and it's really been tremendous and, and a big step up for us. Um, three of the last four wins, or three of the last four games were wins against conference teams. You guys said y'all are clicking at the right time. How does that make you feel going into the tournament? Yeah, I think it gives us a huge amount of confidence. I mean, um, <laughs> I feel like when we play the right way, um, we play tough, we play together, we play defense, we rebound the ball. I feel like we're a really tough team to beat. And we've been showing that we've competed against some of the best teams in this league and came out victorious. Um, so right now, I think, like Trey says, clicking at the right time. But we need to st steady focus on the things that, that, that are getting us these wins and, and carry that into the tournament. I think we'll, we'll like the results that we get when we do that. Final week of the regular season, tied for seventh in the SEC. 
postseason's right around the corner. Do you pay attention to the outside noise of possible NIT or maybe even NCAA tournament implications over the next two weeks coming up? We we don't pay none of that no mind. You know, the outsiders gonna do what the outsiders do. All we got is us. You know, at the end of the day, the guys in the locker room only thing that matter right now. Everybody everything on the outside don't matter. Cause like I said, we're clicking at the right time. One game at a time, we'll be all right. Uh, for both of y'all, if you don't mind, we'll start with Trey. Just how proud are you of kind of like that toughness that Jordan talked about in the, mm -hmm. in the fight? And the, you know, like you mentioned last year, right? How proud are you to kind of take those steps to be where you are this year? <laughs> Super proud. I mean, from going to be predicted, well, 13th, 14th yeah. <laughs> in the conference, like, I mean, it's, there's still a lot of basketball left to be played. So at the end of the day, you can't, you know, you got to be proud of what's going on, but you can't be satisfied because there's a lot of more work to be done. So, like I said, we could be proud of what we've done so far, but this train got to keep rolling. So, yeah, not the second that I agree with it completely, but um, it's definitely a lot to build off of. I think we've created a lot of momentum for ourselves. It's definitely a, a step. I mean, honestly, I'm not surprised that at the way this year is going for us. As of recently, I knew this team could could do some really good things with the talent and the pieces that we had. Um, I kind of wish we got off to a better start. Uh, we would be having a different conversation about everything. But um, it's definitely not surprising to me. I, I knew coming into the summertime what I was coming into with the talent and the pieces that we had, what, what this team could be. Um, and we're getting a glimpse of that um, now. So hopefully we keep that going towards the postseason and, and you know, really show to everybody and the fans what the culture, the culture that's being built here and, and bringing that, that winning basketball back to LSU men's basketball. Trey, uh, this four out of five wins y'all have has kind of coincided with you going back into the starting lineup or going into the starting lineup. Did Coach kind of tell you something right around then that, hey, you need to take over? Or was there any conversations, in, in other words, with Coach? or? Uh, not really. I mean, the main thing is just run the team, make sure everything's organized, make sure everybody's on the same page and do what a point guard should do. You know, it's not all about scoring. It's about getting these guys in a position so where they can score the ball and do what they do. And, you know, I'm, I'm doing a great job at that. You know, I've got to stay consistent. And as long as we continue to do that and play team ball, I mean, we're a great team. Like, we're going to win some more games. March is going to be fun, so. Trey, you've averaged almost eight rebounds per game over the last five games, despite, you know, at times being one of the smaller guys on the floor. Has that rebounding always been something you've taken pride in? No, for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's always going to be nice. It's going to be nice. When he has 30, that's going to be nice. He has 10. He knows that we got to affect the game in other ways. So going to get rebounds, defending, guarding, we take pride in that. So as long as we continue to do that and everybody else on this team can, you know, everybody can score. So you got to do something else in that box. It's going to even up to a win. So. You guys could both answer this if you don't mind. Uh, it just seemed like Tyrell Ward has really stepped up and improved a lot over the course of the season. What's led to that improvement? <laughs> Tyrell being Tyrell, you know, uh, early in the year, he had a you know a couple a couple spurts where he showed a glimpse of what he could do, but he he's free. Like he's when he's free minded, he he can be very dangerous. As you can see, he can shoot the ball. He can do everything offensively. Now it's just us challenging him every day to be the best he can be defensively. And I think we're doing a great job doing that. And we will continue to do that. So. Um, both of you guys uh, kind of don't mind doing the dirty work, but especially Trey and maybe Jordan because you're bigger than he is. But <laughs> Trey, how, how long have you, how long have you been like, I'm gonna go get this rebound no matter what? I mean, did it start in high school or AAU ball or where where did you get this mentality from? I mean, really, it's come from home. Like, I mean, I played with a lot of older dudes growing up, so it was either you play hard or you get off the court. You can't play. And I think they, that just comes from my family. Everybody, you know, raising me the right way. And, you know, me just going with it and not complaining. Because at the end of the day, I mean, it's a man's game. You know, no matter what your age is up here, you got to hoop. You got to play hard. So that's where that comes from. And I would agree. I mean, growing up where I grew up, I played a lot of older guys, same as Trey. And honestly, for me, if I didn't get the rebound, I wasn't going to be able to touch the ball or shoot the ball. So <laughs> it's not the best formula nowadays. Um, we want to get the ball moving. <laughs> But if I wanted to shoot the ball and have an opportunity to score when I was playing when I was younger, it was to get a rebound. Um, so kind of just took that. But it's also competitiveness, too. Um, I just like to compete. I think rebounding is definitely just a toughness thing. I don't think it has a lot to do with size or ability. Because, Trey, like you said, Trey's not the tallest guy, but he's averaging eight rebounds over the last five games. 
Um, so I think it's just about toughness, wanting to compete, and just being willingness to do whatever for the team. Jordan, I know that it was probably a tough decision, you know, deciding to come here and leave Vanderbilt. Um, are you satisfied with how things have gone, especially having just beat them and, um, you know, coming on strong here late in the season? 100%. I think it was the best decision I could have made. Uh, <laughs> no regrets, no any ill feelings toward my decision. I think um, this is a dream of mine to come here and play and to help rebuild this program is, is definitely something that I signed up for when I, you know, talked to Coach McMahon. Um, and I think we still have some work to do to do that, but it's definitely been a good year for me. I, I've thoroughly enjoyed it through the ups, the downs, everything. Um, and it's like I said, it's the best decision I could have made when I entered the portal was to come here and, and help, you know, play a part in this journey, play a part in, in this rebuild, and essentially help it help the rebuild end more quicker than it's supposed to. You know, be a contender as opposed to just oh they're a rebuilding team. Help this is the team that wants to be in the March Madness every single year. It's a team that wants to compete for the top spot in the SEC every single year, um, and, and that's what you know I hope I've done over this the course of this year.